All right. Go back outside here. Kind of do a replay of what I just was doing. Now, as the uh, I was cleaning up these mud guards. See how well the temperature of these are pretty nasty down here. I cleaned up the back side. These are the ones I'm going to paint. I'm going to take a heat gun and try to get the sticker off these. And then I'm going to sand them down and then repaint them with that color scheme. And I just moved the uh, hammerhead out of the out of the garage, it can work. But, uh, what I'm working on now is the back of the trailer. The ramps that I got came with the trailer. They were just, they weren't attached or any way, they were just separate. So I'm making where that line is. I'm gonna make a, like a hinge or like a, a slip through. So I can put the ramp, slide them in, or maybe a hinge part where I can turn them up. But these are the ramps that came with them. Pretty heavy duty ramps. They had these, uh, I'm going to shut this off, I don't get in trouble here. So these rods and I cut all this off Oop. roots there's lots of roots around here and I keep tripping over them it's driving me crazy <clears throat> well they had like a trestle type setup where they were like hooked on to here like so and came up and attached to a uh, to tubular steel so I cut them all off and I'm gonna use them on the back of the trailer so they can just slide in kind of like this so they lay slide in between that and the rod there that's where I'm at right now with them there's an extra some extra pieces I cut off the trailer but, uh, but uh, I'm working on I got my weld route and do some welding and some cutting of some of them rods so I can make some uh, make the hinge out of them I got these these lights to the amber lens halogen lights from Harbor Freight they're only I got them 20% off they're like $12 or something like that they're pretty decent and I'm hoping Hoping they fit on the uh, on my the hammerhead. They're uh, 55 watt bulbs, 12 volt. So I'm hoping with this setup, I might be able to replace them. See the front tire, front uh, the front is wider than the back. It's kind of weird. So I'm hoping that. I might be able to use these, this bracket somehow and take these light bulbs out of here. I mean, they're all right, but but they shine with a circle. And it's kind of weird. I don't need different light bulbs for them. But I'm going to save them. I'm going to save them. Maybe put them on top or something. And then up here, the top rail, I'm going to put, I got aluminum flashing. I'm going to cover the top with aluminum flashing, maybe kind of go around it a little bit. I don't know, I haven't decided yet, so I've got to be able to get into the gas tank. And I got some uh, foam that I'm going to put around here, or you make an armrest or something. Those wheels, man, the wheels turned out really good on this thing. They're nice and chromey looking that's that uh, gold uh, metallic gold majest magic it called majestic uh, gold or something I bought some new saw blades from Harbor or from 
plan to go to Wally's World today is uh, Hyper Tough. I've been buying, I've been buying Hyper Tough tools using the Harbor Freight, the Sawzall. So, and that's the paint scheme. Let's see how well. Uh, that's the uh, primer. That's the primer. And that's the. Uh, I'm gonna dust the. Uh, I'm gonna dust the. Uh, this color. That's kind of a copper looking color. So if you take it over here. Take it over here to the front. I don't know what you call it, the hood or hood or whatever it's called. It's, it's not the same color, but it's close. And it's not really the same as this, but, but I'm gonna prime it with that yelp, the orange, and then dust it with this stuff, Rustoleum. But this camera, for some reason, hasn't, uh, when I talk, it's like, it gets out of sync for some reason, so I'm not really sure if I really like this camera. I bought it from a friend of mine at one of her uh, secondhand stores, so I think somebody didn't like it, but uh, that's where I'm at so far. Do a little bit of welding with my... Chicago electric welder. It's like a 20, 20 volt, 60 hertz, 20 amp. I think it's 90 amp. 90 amp flux, flux wire welder. But I've used it already several times and it, it works. I think I'm just going to kind of spot weld with it. Yeah. Well, just uh, run several spot rolls along the uh, the bars, and then uh, just pull it in, or, you know, as I go. And I'm testing out these uh, this camera to see if it's my voice is syncing. But when I uploaded it to YouTube the other night, it was like my voice was way off sync. I don't know what what was going on. So, but the other camera seems to bounce, has a really good picture, the sharper image one, <clears throat> and this is a clone, GoPro clone, it's like really cheap, but when I move the other camera around, it kind of jumps around, but it's got a really good picture and the sound is good, but for this some reason, this camera was voice in that isn't syncing properly I'm not really sure what that's all about so we'll find out all right that's it for now